30th, 4th of July weekend, out driving. And the idiots, man, the idiots are out of full blast tonight. Although I've already uh, had almost had a motorcycle cream in the back of me, right? Just a minute ago. So I'm gonna keep on going and see how late I can stay out. It's like in uh, one o'clock, you know. I'm, it's actually not as busy or it's not as busy as I thought it would be. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be Saturday, Sunday, and Monday are gonna be more busier today. It's Friday right now, so but yeah. It's been a pretty interesting evening, so I'll probably, uh, probably keep on going. Anyways, talk to you later. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. It's a trap. It's a, tra <laughs> it's a trap. Yeah, man. Are you recording right now? Yeah. Nope. This is Benjamin. We if you're okay with me, put it put it on YouTube. No, I mean, <laughs> I'm all going on fucking YouTube. <laughs> Gray, what do you have to say for I yourself? Have, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? Of, <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I'm 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 keeping y'all from getting arrested for drinking and driving. And yes, like true so. story. He's keeping us. I have proof. <laughs> I'm making sure y'all make it home. You got safe. like a taxi cab confession situation working. <laughs> I'm uh, what do they call it? Uh, what do they what do they call that? Uh, what was it uh we had that that quiz show the taxi oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Ah, what was that called that was uh damn i can't remember what the fuck that was on, called on uh history channel yeah it was uh no, it was it was discovery wasn't it, was it? Discovery. yeah i'm trying to think what it was called uh like like hidden, i know what you're talking about taxi. all right so this is my continuous uh continuation of my driving this weekend on the fourth of july um it's Sunday. I didn't drive Saturday. I just felt like I needed to take some R&R &R and plus there's fireworks and ambulance and cops. That's all I heard last night. So I decided, you know, to say screw it and play video games and try to act like the way I wish I could act on, you know, a weekend. But, you know, I got to make some money. Got to catch up. You know, been pinched and that pinch is going to take several months to, uh, to heal. So, anyways, uh, Friday night was kind of interesting. I picked up a few uh, firefighters. They were uh, continuing the party, and apparently their sergeant, or whoever you call him, their higher, uh, the higher ranking uh, fire marshal, I guess, told them that they were not allowed to drive tonight. If they've been out drinking, they had to either take an Uber or a taxi. So they got in my car with open containers of alcohol, so that was kind of interesting. And they tried to get me to the, the party with them. You know, there were Marines, and uh, I went to some Treasure Island or Island strip club and dropped them off. So that was a long trip. And I learned that I do not like Easy Tag because, you know, my balance of my account went down. And of course, I had a charge I never seen before. And I got an easy tag because you know it's recommended. Man, I do not like tollways. Fuck. So I'm I'm gonna have to use it today, probably driving around. I had to I had to do something embarrassing. I had to borrow money from uh, my uh, my grandfather. So I'm gonna pay him back Tuesday because that's when Uber pays or at least pays me. So I plan on driving for at least 13 hours today. I'll probably end at 1 o'clock. Um, trying to rank up a little over $100 so I can get get to the $350 range and my earnings for this week. And uh, hopefully that will help me uh, make it through. I'm making some of these uh, large bills that i got to pay that have been bloated by continuous late fees because of months prior. The good news is, is that they say that furlough is ended. It's not the most exciting thing in the world. I kind of just shrugged it off because really the money is in overtime. So it really ain't going to change the amount of money that I'm earning through the week. But at least it means that the market's picking back up a little bit, at least in the oil and gas, the oil and gas fields. So, but I'm going to continue to Uber like crazy, uh, pondering if 
I'm gonna keep roommates because I had to extend a I had to extend it for a week before he can pay me because he just had a baby and I was so drunk. But no, I'm out driving tonight. You know, driving today and making extra money. And I'm listening to him talk on the phone with his family, bitching about how, you know, Uber doesn't pay that much and stuff. Which it doesn't, but that's not the whole point. The whole point that you're working and making money, you know. So if he doesn't pay on the night, I'll probably end up kicking him and his new baby out of my house. So, yeah. I'd rather, I'd rather find more reliable roommates. Plus, I'm giving him a huge discount. So on and so forth, you know. And that's my retingency plan at the moment. Uh, but I could probably rent those two rooms out for two hundred dollars a piece or two fifty a piece, depending. Instead of just three, two rooms for three fifty for you know a couple. So I've been trying to ponder more ways of increasing my cash flow because I'm not able to really decrease it, and you know making decisions like getting easy tag has actually created a new bill and i've been trying to go on dates because you know kind of want a relationship i'm tired of going to like grocery stores like sprouts or whatever and seeing happy caucasian well-off family shopping and you know and enjoying life at its fullest when i'm driving around you know getting to apartment complexes and having them canceled you know, because I can't get in the gate or something stupid like that. But I really want to, I want to do that whole, you know, American dream happiness thing that I've been so denied. But, ooh, my uh, Bluetooth just went haywire. But anyways, I'm out and about. I'm probably going to have some fun stories. I'm going to keep my, uh, my artificial fake GoPro that I bought offline a year ago nice and fully charged so I can record the accidents and stuff I had a lot of accidents on the road on, on Friday a lot of a lot of drunk driving and you know street racing and I'm pretty sure I'm probably gonna see some interesting events you know since it's the 4th of July and you know all the, the douchebags are gonna be on full force or the hipsters or whatever you want to call them I, you know I, I call them different things but regardless you know they're probably gonna also i'd stop giving out water you know people drink my water but they don't give tips or anything so I, so i got rid of my cooler i'm not doing stack thing just charging stations that's all i'm doing uh going out and about and going above and beyond ain't gonna reward you here in the uh the ride sharing not taxi industry as they call it so, people want to minimize their expenses by utilizing uh, desperate individuals that are trying to make a few bucks like myself, which I, I don't blame them. I would do the same. You know, I'm also been thinking about venturing into the criminal uh, industry, trying to find ways to uh, maybe uh, increase my income by, uh, I don't know. I don't know, maybe growing a few plants or, you know, I don't know. It's just, dude, I need my own stimulus and I would like to have more of my free time back. So I'm trying to ponder more, more ways to make money. I want to be selling my drum set. Probably actually make a video and post it on YouTube and see if anyone wants it. I mean, if I post it on, on Craigslist, all I'm going to do is get the the average stoner pothead that wants to only spend like two or three hundred dollars I mean it's a three thousand dollar drum set I really don't want it to go but I'm not I don't have time to play it you know I got guitars you know I, trying to find ways to to pinch a few dollars so uh, yeah that's pretty much it I really don't have too much more to talk about I'm pretty sure I'll probably uh, I want to make this a montage of this whole entire weekend. So, I'm going to ask people if they want to mess around with this. I'm going to call it the GoPro, but it's not my camera, I guess. You know, maybe post a few of their uh, activities in my car. And you can see 
what I got to deal with, you know. And I will tell you this, there's two things I do not like. Oh, there's a taxi behind me. So, uh, I do not like picking up people in apartment complexes. Because they tend to request an Uber while they're inside their actual apartment. Not knowing that, you know, sometimes they can't get in the gate. Or their Google doesn't know where the, the freaking hell they are. And, you know, it's just it like some island in some kind of three-dimensional, you know, abstract space outside the apartment. So, it's just a stew of stupidity. And I don't like picking up too much in the Heights. I did get some good-looking girls, but the Heights people, they, they, they take an Uber like two or three blocks. Blocks. To an apartment. You know, not to, to like a a bar or to a restaurant and it's it's hell on the tires in that area I'm pretty sure <laughs> I just got I just got done replacing my struts I'm pretty sure they're they're probably already going to shit so anyways uh, we'll keep everyone updated if uh, if anyone actually watches my videos and over and out I'm sitting here in the middle of the Heights area and uh, under a tree trying to keep my car cool. Yeah, my phone's kind of overheating actually. So uh, when you're driving towards the, uh, the city in the morning, the sun's hitting like the back of your phone. My back of my phone's like silver, but it, it overheats and it starts to act all stupid. Like it'll, Google will just pause up the, the Google Earth and the apps will just and it'll randomly play music. I don't, my phone's just going haywire. But anyways, letting it cool off, keeping the app running. It's dead. Sunday on the fourth. Well, fourth of July is tomorrow, whatever. But the third. But it is magnificently dead this morning. I'm assuming that the the stoners, the potheads, and all that stuff are probably still in bed. They're probably not going to wake up to around like two or three, maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. You know, because they don't have jobs or anything like that. So, the, uh, the yield right now is magnificently low. But, uh, I'll hot tell it out of the uh, Westheimer area. Uh, I do not like picking up apartments. And I was getting, you know, people uh, requesting Uber and then canceling it because, you know, I can't either, or I get stuck in the wrong apartment complex. It's like, they're in a building that's adjacent to another apartment complex's building and they're in that like a a unit that's behind another apartment building so you know Google Earth will send me to the freaking hell nowhere and I, I'm sitting there and there's a wall between a building between me and the person I gotta pick up so I was like fuck that shit so I'd rather pick up if I'm gonna pick up douchebags I'm gonna do it in the Heights area. Plus, for some reason, I don't know what it is. It's like I, if the ground's like super fertile or what, but the girls over here are much more attractive. So over there, they look like species. Uh, my my first ride of the day, I, I literally picked up a woman that was dressed in clothing that a slutty teenager would be wearing, but she looked like plastic that's out in the sun, like melted cheese. Yeah, it's just yeah. Uh, you know, oh, anyways, I will decide to take a small break, walk around the police memorial off of, uh, Memorial Drive, driving through downtown, already picked up uh, an overloaded ride, four people, two, two cute girls, yeah. very vulgar, already drunk, dropped them off at a party on the south side of town. I was going to take a break and smoke a cigar and check out this nice park it's actually kind of nice runs along the Buffalo Bayou and they got the police memorial it's actually uh, Houston for being such a kind of I don't know I grew up here and it's starting to grow on me a little bit more as I've been driving around for Uber but 
It's becoming more, uh, almost like Austin with parks and everything cleaned up. Less ghetto. At least majority of the west and northwest side of town. I can't say much about the southeast side of town. I pick up people over there by the University of Houston. and I mean, there's some clean stretches of road, but it's still pretty ghetto over there. But all in all, eh. I'm thinking about uh, chilling out here for a few more years. And hopefully I'll find a significant other. But plan on driving all night. Maybe record some fireworks. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It's a pretty cool looking bridge actually. The very end of it's the uh, Cop Memorial. Uh, the city built it to to honor all the uh, cops that died serving duty here in Houston. I think it's pretty interesting. I actually kind of like this area. Never really stopped over here because there's always too many cars parked. But apparently, there's not very many people out jogging and exercising. You know, everyone's out of town, and but I might bring my bike out here one day and ride my bike out. Here. It's pretty cool. It's actually a really nice day. Good view of the city. <laughs> Keep bourbon. Just got done eating lunch. It's actually a nice view of the city. See, I like parks. I wish, uh, I wish the Bear Creek trails were a little bit nicer. I wish they cleaned that up over there by my house. It's kind of getting ghetto over there. There's a lot of bombs hanging out. At night, you can hear you can hear people drinking and laughing, riding your bikes in the parks at night over there. I don't know what it's like riding over here, but it's pretty cool. It's actually relatively clean too. I thought I would think there'd be like washer and dryers, you know, maybe a, a Volkswagen or a dead body floating ashore or something stupid. It's actually really quite nice. Very clean. enjoying myself over here. I wonder if there's any way they'll ever bring a kayaking or uh, any kind of water activity. Maybe the water's too dirty. I don't know. You got those brain-eating amoebas. But it's a pretty nice little area right here. I like this bridge. So. Alright, so it's the end of my night and I have 140 miles left of range and uh, I have $350 in my account but only $25 uh, available and I have $5 to my name so I will not be driving on the 4th. So if I would have got more tips, maybe I would have had more money to uh, drive. But looks like I'm just gonna be chilling out tomorrow. So I'm gonna go spend my five my five dollars on fireworks. See what I can get for five dollars. So, uh, woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I want to. I want to vote for asteroid. Let's end it now. Look at this place. It's huge. All right. So how much I got left? A dollar twenty. Dollar twenty left? Oh uh, no. I don't. Did you want these or did you want the? I want the. He's a 340. 340? Yeah. Aww. So we're trying to budget this. What about the, this, this? What do they call it? The, no. No sparklers. Yeah, that's right. How much is sparkler? Those are also dollar twenty. All right, give me, give me, give me two of those. Uh, what colors? I want blue and red. Blue and red. Yeah, I got some other ones. 
Hey, I asked if the cherries didn't have them. Yeah, I remember the cannons. Those are badass. Uh, the what? Those big cannons. Oh, the artillery shells? Yeah. Uh, the, that one's 70. So how much do I got left here? Back I got $2.60 left. You don't like me? Without those. Without those. Just that okay. and that. Yep, you got $2.60. like the cup holders of McDonald's. Thank you. Okay. So we're gonna get it for 260 exactly. Yeah, you got something for 250. <laughs> That'll work. Uh, each of those are 50 cents. Oh, those are 50 cents each? Oh, that's a dollar. That's right. two. 50. All right. All right. That works. Probably get one. Oh, jeez. Hang on, there's a bunch of one more. more. <laughs> Yep, there you go. Thanks. Can I get a baggie? Yeah. Uh, you want pumps? What now? Pumps? Uh, sure. Dude. I wish I was rich. We all. Yeah. We'd be staying here. <laughs> I'm on the wrong side of the freeway, but looks like street racing is already taking its toll tonight. A huge fucking accident over there, and I can't see it. I want to go home. Funds ran dry, so I decided to keep a little bit of gas in the uh, uh my car. So I decided to keep some gas in my car. And I want to have a beer. And for the one shitty tip I got, I bought fireworks. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Might as well have a little bit of fun. Uh, mm. Yeah, so. Uh, Alcohol. The person, the person that I uh, sat there and asked for my. Alright, let's see. Uh, it's probably dangerous, but whatever. Charging my car is going to get an extra $40. This is what I got for $5. <laughs> yeah. We're going to be uh, practicing. Uh, Proper, was it proper safety procedure or PPP or PPE? PPE. No, no or that's that's personal safety. Whatever. I don't yeah. know. Protective. Yeah. Personal protective equipment. You got gotcha. you. Uh. Hmm. Uh. This is how I'm gonna end my video here. Hold it. All right. Hey, record me. It's dark as. I know, it's gonna be dark outside. It's pretty dark. I put my cigar down. Totally Don't smoke. Totally Don't, fucking record. Don't even fucking record my cigar. Cigar on top of battery charger. Yeah, it's super safe. That battery can that battery charger can stay on the rain. Oh, that's pretty cool. The American dream: smoking, drinking, and lighting fireworks. Mm. You know, it it'd be better if you kind of lit your cigar. Is that a punt?
or a sparkler. Should be a sparkler. Oh Jesus! I hope you're not planning on lighting uh, your fireworks with a sparkler. Whoa! I don't know if I, it sees you or not, but I can see the light at least. Oh no, no. Uh, well, I don't have anything on this screen. I guess. Oh no, it, it's because it, it, it's saving power, but it, it, if it's still flashing on top, it's recording. Oh yeah, yeah, it's recording. And you run over that mm. in the morning sometime. Uh, I want to do another one. You can always light your cigar and then just... Hey! My video. I'm just saying, I'm like... Hold on. I'm saluting. Of course, with the wrong hand. Oh, that's lame. Yeah! Oh, motherfucker! <laughs> that's it? I hope so. <laughs> I don't have shoes on. You're sniping <laughs> my foot. I'm not putting that back in my car. Yeah. Uh, put it over there. Yeah, by the house. That's perfect. Hey, bricks don't burn. Well, they can. With a lot of heat. Thermite. Don't want to lock these in there. Well, that's five dollars worth of fireworks. We're celebrating the end of an entirely way too long of a weekend driving. Oh, you can always go catch a duck or something. Hey, it'd be awesome if we see an accident. Though. Well, actually, that, that's kind of a mean thing to say. But hey, no, it's called uh, laughter at the expense of others. I, I believe True. that's called comedy. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? Goes under the car and blows his shit up. Well, I was boring. They don't make uh, American made fireworks no more, do they? Actually, most of these fireworks are made in America. Dude. I think are you serious? Louisiana. Yeah. Louisiana? Yeah. Hmm. That's cool. They have a bunch of uh, artificial hills. They like these long underground bolts or whatever and they store them in there and after they make them and they're designed to have like these blow off valves on the side right, there's a video of it on YouTube anyways cheers I normally don't smoke I'm saying that because I'm being recorded <laughs> alright good night people